Case number D-16-538-315-S, Vanessa Loftus v. Burke Hall. Would everyone please state their names and appearances for the record, please? Good morning, Your Honor. Melvin Grimes, Bar Number 12972. I represent the plaintiff, Vanessa Loftus. She is not present. Okay. Good afternoon. Patrick Murch, Bar Number 10162, on behalf of the Clark County School District. Okay. Hello, Your Honor. Burke Hall, pro per. Okay. This is Mr. Hall's motion to compel um, the records from Katz Elementary School, correct? All right, would you like to begin? Yes, I, I have uh, served Katz Elementary School probably a total of maybe six times trying to get my own son's records. I do have joint legal and joint legal custody. Um, um, the principal has not only been hostile, has refused, blatantly refused give me the records. I keep getting um, things from, conflicting things from uh, CCSD, which their attorney is here, um, basically stating that um, they don't want to give me the records of my own son. Um, this is pertaining, I don't know if you're familiar with the case, but this is a case where there's heavy educational neglect being, and the kids being drugged at the school by mom and there's some other issues that are going on here. Therefore, and we have a felon that's picking up the kids from school. So therefore, I need the unredacted record. Of who's this. the alleged felon that's picking up the kids from school? Uh, his name is um, Presley, is his last name. His first name is, uh, I can't think of his first name right now. Okay, all right. But his name is Presley, his mom's boyfriend. Okay. Mom's a convicted felon as well, which makes it illegal for her to even be associating with this man but he's picking up the kids from school as well. So I'm needing those records. I also brought with me the gentleman that has served this paperwork uh, multiple times to the to the school. They're saying, in their, one of their reports, they're saying that I served it myself, which is completely erroneous. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, uh, council. Your Honor, the only thing that was just presented that has any modicum of truth to it is that it's an ongoing trial. The trial is currently going. Discovery closed in November. The subpoena at question for this motion was issued eight days before trial. Unless we're suddenly allowing trial by ambush, nothing that he would have received is even admissible in court. Additionally, and probably... Well, I, my understanding is there's been multiple subpoenas. Well, I went and looked today, and the only one I found is the one that he references in his motion, which was issued... Um, no, I have it. So I don't want the date to be incorrect. Was issued... I mean, I've seen multiple subpoenas issued... Um, two cats in Clark County School District. Well, he's issued another one since the one in question here. Sure. Okay. Um, and now requesting, you know, that the principal, among others, show up for the trial. Again, not disclosed as witnesses. But, again, we've tried to uh, assist in everything. But the very documents he's wanting, you know, the sign in, sign out, the parent, all of that, we produced. Um, no offense, it's been admitted. When, when in fact. was it? When was it produced? Uh, it, months ago, but it's been admitted into the trial. The trial's ongoing. Okay. Okay. The current motion is improper, Your Honor. It, it's not timely. Discovery has long since closed. If you look at the very subpoena that uh, was the last one issued, if you look at the description of documents to be provided, let it's me blank. let me just ask because it wasn't attached. Um, Mr. Hall, what was the date of the issue that we're here on today? Because you did not attach the particular subpoena that you're moving to compel. I didn't attach a specific subpoena, Your Honor, because there's actually six subpoenas to Katz Elementary School dating back for the last two straight years I've been trying to get this, this information from Katz Elementary. And okay, well, I need to see the subpoenas before I can order them to be, the documents to be produced pursuant okay. to the subpoena. Um, so which date, or which date of the subpoena are you referring to? And I'll look it up. I, I don't have the the subpoenas in front of me. I can, if you if you if we can 
You don't have them with you today? I don't have them with me, Your Honor. I only have the latest ones. Okay. And um, what, are, what are the latest ones that you have? The, the latest ones are... Um, one November 26th. That's the most recent. I'm sorry. Oh, 28th, sorry. The most recent one, Your Honor, is he signed it dated 21 December 2018. The latest one is the January 28th one. November 28th? January 28th. Well, he's, he's issued. January 28th. I mean, I mean, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not January. Could, Hold on for a second. Oh, okay, let, let me have counsel. Uh, what was your last name again? I'm sorry. Merch, M U R C H. Mr. Merch speak. And, and frankly, why is he not able to go into CATS and get a release for all of his own clients or his children's documents? He is. He hasn't done it. He hasn't signed up for Infinite Campus. From my understanding, I've talked to the principal a couple times about this. Okay. Um, He's gone to. I can give you a history of the. Okay. Why don't we? Why don't you begin? And what our responses are. Okay. So in uh, April of 2018, he sent a subpoena to Rowe Elementary School, Lewis E. Rowe Elementary School. Um, the kids weren't enrolled to school there at the time. The school doesn't have any documents because when the kid goes somewhere else, uh, the documents follow the kid. Okay. So the kids were enrolled at uh, Cats at that time. So, so in April of 18, they April were enrolled, 18, enrolled at CATS? They were, they were enrolled at CATS. Uh, and have been they, enrolled since that time at CATS? They were not enrolled at Row where the subpoena was sent. Okay. I'll say that. Um, we uh, had the clerk send a declaration saying we don't have any records. July of 2018, uh, there was a subpoena sent to Row Elementary School again. Uh, four subpoenas to appear at a hearing in August uh, 2018. Um, on July 31st, I sent an objection, written objection. I said the subpoenas weren't served by an independent third party. Uh, there was no witness fee. Two of the employees didn't work there anymore. I didn't get a response to that. So nobody showed up at that hearing. Um, and I have these documents. I have the subpoenas and the objections with me. I don't have copies for everybody. I didn't want to copy everything, but I do have. You well, are you going to file them or? No. Okay. No, I wasn't planning to. Um, December 20th, 2018, he sent a subpoena to Katz Elementary School um, and wanted production by the next day for school records and then unredacted records of persons authorized to pick the kids up from school. Later that day, I sent him an objection. I said, you only gave us one day to respond. You served the subpoena yourself. And while you were at the school, you filled out the list of documents to be produced. So it was altered after it was issued. So I said, we're not going to respond to that one either. Um, December 21st, the next day, served the subpoena on Rowe Elementary School for the same four people he had asked back in July to come. I sent them an objection that day. I said, you're asking people who work for a school to come in during winter break the day before winter break starts. Okay, well, let's place. cut to the chase for a second. What is a school district going to require for him to obtain the records for his own children that he has joint legal custody of? He can sign the release uh, for authorization for release of confidential information. I've got one for each kid. I have the uh, records that are responsive to the subpoena for education records from Katz Elementary School ready to give him for, for all kids, four children? Two kids. Um, and I have a what we call a person summary report. This is information that is in Infinite Campus, and we never provide parents, other, other parents, when they don't live together, we don't provide them with emergency contact information, contact information for the parent who the kids live with. Uh, we just we don't give cross information. We let them get that from the other person. It's my understanding uh, from the mother's counsel that he already has that information. We don't do, provide do it. Do you I've have a, a and do you have a date of the date that that was provided to him? I, I'm going to get you the date it okay. was admitted. It has okay. been admitted okay. as evidence. 
Okay. And so I have everything here ready to produce. We've never said, no, we're not going to give you the stuff in response to a valid request. We've said, no, these subpoenas are not valid for the different reasons that we've set forth in the objections. Uh, but he's never signed up for Infinite Campus, which is our online portal for he can, he can get the records himself. And where does he go to do that? Uh, there's, if you just type in CCSD Infinite Campus, probably, you could find it. Uh, you could call the school and ask, how do I get on Infinite Campus? He's never filled out a request. Okay. You have to, you have to submit an application for that, and those are approved. Okay. Um, and he can get the information himself. But I have uh, copies of all of the records that are in the kids' folders, uh, report cards. I have attendance. I have uh, everything but health records because we just got this. Uh, we got the motion on Monday. Health records are maintained by our risk management department. I haven't had time to go to them to get health records if that's what he's looking for. Okay, and if that, that, that is what he's looking for, it sounds like. So how long will it take for you to obtain health records? This? For the health records. I, I, don't understand, I don't read the subpoena to, to say that that's what he's looking for. If you're looking for that, I can get them uh, later today or tomorrow. Is there a separate authorization he needs to complete for those records? Those, I, if he puts health records on this um, <clears throat> on this form, we can we can write it in there. He can add health records. Sure. Okay. Yeah, it says medical records. Right there. He can he can he needs to write out exactly what he's looking for, uh, and I can get the health records. I I know the person to get in touch with. I can get them today or tomorrow, um, and I believe I have an email address for Mr. Hall in one of the subpoenas that I can email them to. Them to. Okay. All right, Mr. Hall. Your Honor, not only is that. Is what he's saying untrue? But I actually have a witness that is here right now, that was there when the principal told me she refused to give me the records. Okay. Well, he has just represented on behalf of the school district. He has the records from Cats okay. uh, that you have to sign an authorization for. What I'm going to do is I am going to trail this matter for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm going to ask all of you to step into the ante room and see what you can do to resolve this. Okay. You you're, you're on. Yes. But one more thing. Uh, here's the subpoena, and the language on it is right here, any and all school records um, and related school records. All records must be unredacted to include any and all records past and present persons and uh, authorized to pick up Storm and Manual Hall. Complete school records are to include any and all records pertaining to Lewis E. Road. Uh, elementary school okay, well, as well. what he's just indicated is that the Clark County School District does not cross, um, they redact the, the private information of the parents in each uh, record, that they don't submit that. However, counsel for Ms. Loftus has indicated that that document has already been produced and admitted in this case, indicating who she has left as the emergency contact for the children. Is that correct? That's correct. Is that so and it was admitted when? I just want to make sure we're I, I didn't about bring the same my thing. exhibit folder. Okay. Is, is Your Honor, there is something the court should be aware of because, and, and I don't know the admitted? council's aware of it. Just a second, just a second. Do you have any exhibits admitted? But they were produced? They were produced, and we have so far admitted 55 different exhibits, including educational records, IEP evaluations, care team evaluations, si uh, the, the registration documents for Katz Elementary. Okay. But, Your Honor, I think the court needs to be aware. Right. Um, and at the hearing, one of the first things Judge Pomerantz did, and, and this occurred right at the beginning, was because of the numerous subpoenas and the fact that they were trying to comply, whether it was the school district or the school, they actually complied and sent the documents directly to the department. The department was like, I'm not reading this, and turned it over. That is in the video record at 943.08, where the judge handed him a manila folder from CCSD containing documents sub pursuant to his request. He on was, what date? I'm sorry. Uh, that was on sept uh, December 28th. Okay? The judge even told them, I don't know if these are coming in, but they should be disclosed to counsel. I still don't have them, which means I can't even artic articulately answer some of the, the questions of the court 
whether or not the school district has complied. There is also some, some service issues. My office was never served with this motion. We only found out because he filed yet another subpoena to put witnesses on the stand at the next hearing without ever disclosing the witnesses. I think he believes that that, that subpoena complies with discovery rules. And as a result, we looked online and found this, that this motion was pending today. Okay. He simply refuses, well, let's see if we can get him. I'm going to object to any of their admissibility. Discovery has been closed since November. Okay, well, admissibility is something that you have to take before the trial judge. So, yes. Your Honor, um, I, I don't even know how to begin to deal with this blatant lie. Okay, well, we're not... Except for to say this. What lie? The lie that he didn't even know about until he looked online. Okay. This gentleman right here served him at his office. He's lying. Okay, all right. And, and, and I don't... Regardless, I, that's not an issue at the moment because he's here. So whether or not he was given proper notice, he's chosen to appear. So we're here, so we're going to move past that. And what I am going to do is I am going to ask that all of you um, have a discovery dispute resolution attempt in the ante room to try to resolve the issue and get you the records that you need for your children from the school district that have been brought with them by council for the school, which have been brought by council for the school district here today. It's my understanding you need to sign releases. So um, we're going to, I'll recall your case at, um, at approximately 2.10. Okay. Okay. Or as soon thereafter as the next case has been resolved. 